After the earthquake happened in Port-au-Prince, we were so startled, so surprised that we just wanted to freeze. Everywhere we walked under our feet, when we looked, we saw cadavers. There were kids, babies, students, pregnant women, fathers and mothers. And as young people, we saw that we couldn't do anything for them. At that time, at that moment, I gave up. I thought I was going to die. TRI is called the Trauma Resource Institute, and it's a nonprofit corporation. And our purpose, our vision, is to create trauma-informed and resiliency-informed communities. We um, help people to help themselves. So a, a large component of what we do is to train also non-clinicians to deliver the, uh, the skills. And that's how we can go into a national disaster, for example, like Haiti, where they don't have a number of trained psychologists or enough healthcare providers to provide interventions that can lead to well-being after having such a big T event. So that when we go into um, a setting, we have what we call a short-term intervention model that we can pretty much train anywhere. And then I think it's very, very good to see you don't need a lot of money. You don't need a very well, well-trained specialist to get um, psychological support or to help you to cope and then to be more yourself and then get over all the stress that living in Haiti can give you. We find that um, when people learn these biological interventions that we're all designed in the same way. We might have a different paradigm or a lens of how we view symptoms, but the way to healing after that kind of traumatic event is to learn some wellness skills that can change the way that you are in mind, body, and spirit. There are two groups have come out of the training in Port-au-Prince that are going to be spreading the skills that they've learned through us throughout Haiti. Now they can train them in the skills that we've trained them, and that's how this model can continue to go forth and kind of pay it forward. So it's exactly what we hope to happen. My presence has been very important to my community. And our goal is to prepare a better life than the one that we had before.